<laughs> I know what you're thinking. What? No glasses. Who is this woman? Did you get eye surgery? We need to know. No, I'm just getting ready to go work out. And I don't need to read when I work out, so I do not wear my glasses. Plus, I sweat like crazy and they just slide off my face anyway. And so I was motivated to share this information with you. So one of the things that I like to do is I take my light hand weights and I don't know, they're less than two pounds each. And I go to the beach because it's very close to my house and I go at sunset and it's just beautiful and the families and the bands and the, the weather and the colors and everything. So that's my motivation. And today I'm here to talk to you about how you can stay motivated to work out. And I know that it's challenging. I've been teaching group fitness for over 35 years. I've motivated thousands of people to continue to show up several times a week for years and years and years. Okay, I wanna share some of the tips with you. Well, number one is obvious. Find something you enjoy doing, okay? And so I'm not gonna count that as one. N never start doing something you do. I don't like running. And if running was the only way to lose weight, I would be uh, like job of the hut, I guess. I don't know, <laughs> but I'm glad there are a million and one ways to move our body. So that's tip number one is to think about it not as exercise or as someone was telling me they don't even like the word workout because it has the word work in it. <laughs> so I've said for decades, what moves you? What, what motivates you? What moves you to want to get your body out of the chair, off the couch, and out the front door. Now, sometimes uh, when the weather's bad, working out at home is not out the front door and that is okay. So to, um, number one is, what is it that you like doing? And you might have to experiment to find those things. I just started playing pickleball, never heard of it. Liked tennis, but wasn't really, you know, super motivated. But man, do I enjoy pickleball. I will talk to strangers, which is something I've never done really comfortably in my life if it means I'll have the chance to play pickleball. Okay, so step number one is to find something that you do. Chances are the older you get, you used to do something that motivated you to movement that you looked forward to and you never thought of it as exercise or working out. And uh, I like to call exercise the E word and just avoid the E word. And there's a reason why exercise and exorcism sounds a little too familiar. And so you can say workout. I like workout. I think it's fun, but I just thought it was interesting that, yeah, it does have the word work in it. Okay, so that's uh, tip number one. And then tip number two is to buy the right shoes for the activity that's going to move you. Okay, so be it pickleball, then, you know, tennis type shoes obviously would work. If you want to cross train, there's cross trainers. If you want run, to run or jog or what I call wog, I do wog on the beach. That's a little bit faster than a walk, but way slower than a jog. Um, so if you're going to do that, there's shoes for that. I'm barefoot on the beach. And the, here's the key, people. Make sure you only wear those shoes for that activity. Don't wear them to the grocery store. Don't wear them to the kids' games. Don't wear them anywhere except for that activity. And actually keep them in a bag until you even get there sometimes if they're really that, you know, like a court shoe or something. Okay, so I'm going to kind of resend what I just said because it depends on the activity that you want to do. So I hope you'll understand this next one. One of the best ways to get out the door is to put on the shoes. So if you have walking shoes or jogging shoes or running shoes or some kind of outdoor activity shoes, put on the shoes because it tells your body and your brain, oh, hey, we're going to go do this. And it's like how when you get the leash off for walking the dog and then you change your mind, you put it back. Well, I don't know if you've ever done that, but the dog is not going to let you off the hook. You are committed to the walk, which is another great way to move your body get those pets outside two or three times a day. And so what, you know, what is it that moves you? Get the, get the right gear and stuff and wear that gear just for the activity because it, it's like a uniform. It will put your mind set in a frame of like, okay, this is what we're doing. Kind of like if you have a uniform for work, it tells your body when you're getting dressed, like, yeah, this is what we're going to go do. Okay. And then the third thing is to find somebody to do it with. Most things are more and more enjoyable with other humans. Even if it's a single activity sport where you're not, you know, part necessarily part of a team, 
You still need somebody to help you show up to get there. You need somebody to call you when you say, I'm not going to go. I'm a little tired. They're still going to pick you up. So it's really important to have a good buddy. The buddy system is a great way to help you stay motivated to working out and moving your body. So to tell you a quick story, I was sharing this with a gal at the makeup counter where I used to live and about the shoes, getting the shoes to get out the door. And I don't, I didn't see her for several months because I just didn't need any more cosmetics. So when I went back, she still worked there and she was so excited. She was dancing, she did a little, little happy dance because she wanted to share that in three months she had lost nine pounds just by following that one tip, get on the shoes. And she told me the reason why it also worked was because she got her roommates involved as well. So tip number three, get a buddy. So if you really want this, I know you can do it. And if there's something keeping you from being as happy and healthy as you want and deserve, let me know. Let's chat. I'm Elle Grinnell, specializing in inter and intrapersonal communication for over 25 years. I can help you get those voices straight in your head so that you can put the pedal to the metal, so to speak, and get that body you deserve. To become happy, healthy, and motivated to stay that way, not just for a week, not just for a month, not just for 90 days, but for as long as you choose, ideally for the rest of your happy and healthy life. So in the meantime, please like, subscribe, share, follow. If you know anybody who would really benefit from this, share it with them, make them your buddy, and uh, tell me your stories. I love to hear success stories. They light me up. Okay, so again, until I see you again, my friends, stay happy and healthy. Get out the door. <laughs>